morning. I guess it's morning here. It may not be morning when you're watching this, but I am currently sitting on my kitchen floor, drinking a cup of coffee and trying to play with my dog. But today's video is going to be about my daily skincare routine. So this is before I've actually started to get ready for the day, but we'll just go ahead and get into this. You really want to be in the video, don't you? You really do. Look at that tail. If y'all could just see how cute this is. My dog's playing in the background. She really wants to be in the video. See, she's coming in the bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, before I get started with my skincare routine, I do want to tell you guys what kind of skin type I have. I do have oily combination skin, but I really more tackle the oily part with my skincare routine because that's the issues that I have with my skin is just oils coming through all the time. So the a lot of the products that I use are for combination and oily skin. So if you do not have oily or oily combination skin, this is probably not the skincare routine for you. Um, at least these particular skincare products. Uh, I do really like my relatively new regimen that I use because I use a Clarisonic and uh, I use a, like a couple different steps that I feel like have helped get my skin to where it is right now. I know I don't have like the best skin in the world, but I, I have come such a long way since, oh man, it's been about almost a year that my skin was like really, really bad. I had really bad acne and I just have a little bit of acne now. So I feel like that's an improvement. These are the products that I use and I actually have them in order that I use them except for my Clarisonic. So I use this on my face first to get rid of any like extra oils. I use this acne cleanser and then this toner and then this moisturizer. And that's basically just my morning routine. It's different than my night routine. So I will be recording that later so that way y'all can also see my night routine. This micellar water is good for all skin types. Uh, I really only use this to remove any excess makeup or any excess oil. Uh, this is, I feel like it's just kind of up to my skincare routine, which is like getting rid of any extra oils before I go in with my cleanser. Now this cleanser, I feel like is what really has changed my game here. This is for combination oily. I honestly thought this was for all skin types, but maybe not. Um, so this, cleanser is really good with acne. I do let this sit on my face for a couple minutes while I'm using it so that way the medicine really gets in there. Sorry, I just dropped this so that's what all these bubbles are at the top. But this toner I got relatively recently and I've really been liking it lately. I was using one that was for dry skin before this one because I was having problems with my dry skin because it is winter and it's cold and it's making my skin dry. But this is a glycolic grapefruit cleansing lotion. Obviously not a lotion, it is very liquidy. So I basically just think it's a toner. This is also for a combination oily skin. And then this moisturizer, I use this day and night. Uh, this is also for combination and oily skin. Um, I don't really know what AHA stands for. I really only bought this because it said it was good for combination and oily skin. But so far, so good. Now, I do have two brush heads that I use with my Clarisonic. This is the Radiance um, brush head, and this, this is the Deep Cleansing Pore brush head. I literally just started using this a couple days ago, and I, so far I really like it. However, I think it may be a little too rough for my skin in the morning. I think it's more of a nighttime brush that you would use to get all the makeup and everything out of your pores. So I'm just going to be using the original Radiance brush head. So I just put the um, micellar water on a cotton ball and I'm literally just gonna rub it all over my face to get any out of those oils out. I always hate looking at this cotton pad whenever I'm done because <laughs> it looks so nasty like ugh. You see how nasty that is? But this is why I do this, is to get all this crap off my face. Next, I'm just gonna be using that acne cleanser. And first, I kind of wet my face a little bit because I would rather wet my face than my Clarisonic because if you wet the Clarisonic and not your face, it literally like it drips all over your eyes and it's not fun. And now I'm just gonna use that 
acne cleanser and this is what I do I just it's hard to do with one hand so but <laughs> I do this I put the cleanser I don't know like a dime size amount on my Clarisonic and then I just put it on my face and then turn it on and this Clarisonic does have two settings on it two speeds and I guess I haven't really noticed a difference with the with the speeds if it makes a difference and cleansing butter I don't know but right now it's on like the lower of the two settings but I really like to switch directions and which it goes into my pores so that way I get every little bit in there and now we wait but while I'm waiting I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the brush head so that way it can start drying I will say while this is sitting on my face uh, I can tell when it's about time to wash it off because it does start to burn a little bit and I don't know if that's because I have sensitive skin or or what but uh, once it starts to kind of burn I don't know if y'all can tell my face is kind of red um, but once it starts to burn is when you need to wash it off because that's where I know the acne fighting I think it's salicylic acid I don't know salicylic I don't know how to say that word it's fine but that's when I know to wash my face okay I have now washed my face off and I've grabbed a cotton pad and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the toner there's honestly like no I don't know how much I use I usually just try to I don't know and I usually don't do it on my counter like this because it's so hard to film this and do it with two hands but you want to make sure that it's pretty wet I think I need to apply it a little bit more oh. okay and then you just start rubbing it all over your face. Just. I will say, if you do have acne on your face while you are using this, it does burn a little bit, especially if there are things that you've picked up, which is also a big part of my skincare routine, is do not pick at your acne. I know it's really hard for some people, it's really hard for me to not pick at it, but it just spreads bacteria whenever you do and it just creates more acne since i don't have anything open right now it doesn't burn okay so after i've applied the toner i do let it sit on my face for a little bit let my skin soak it all in and just literally sometimes if i don't have time to wait which i guess i do today it's just fine but i'll fan my face let it dry let it get in there for a minute or so and then i'll apply the moisturizer okay so I am going to film this while holding my camera with my knees and you can say hello to Bailey. Uh, so, but for the moisturizer, again, we're using the AHA Ceramide Cerm Moisturizer. Once again, I have no idea what this means, but I just do a small amount. Watch, I bet this is going to come out like a lot. Oh, no. So I do... I mean, about enough to just, like, cover your face. So, I do about this much because, you know, I try not to be wasteful. And then rub it on both my hands and put it all over my face. Okay, once again, sorry for the weird angle, but I'm just going to rub it all over my face. And so that's all I do for my morning routine. I will be coming back to show you guys my night routine after I've worn makeup all day and we'll just kind of get into that. One thing that I don't use every single morning, but I do use it some mornings, is this On Your Mark um, thing by Formula 10.0.6. Uh, I haven't really noticed a huge difference with this, um, however, I'm still kind of like testing it out, but I did want to mention it because it is kind of a part of my routine. But, so this is something that it's, so it's in this tube and then it has this roller ball on it and you just kind of put it on places where you have acne marks and that you want it to brighten those. So which is really like all over my face. And you just kind of squeeze this and put it on your face. And this smells really good. It 
You're also not supposed to use this on any open scars or open, open wounds, open acne, because it'll burn. That's what it says on here. I haven't tried it because I'm afraid. It's now the evening and I really don't want to talk about my makeup today. I was trying out some new products and I found out that I am not a fan. But uh, now, since the end of the day, I get to wash it off and start fresh tomorrow. However, I was trying a foundation that I haven't worn in a while, the um, Burt's Bees Goodness Glows or something, and it made me break out. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to try to make this better. So first, I'm going to try and clean up all my makeup off with um, the same kind of the micellar water, <clears throat> but in washcloth form because I feel like this is really good to help take off my makeup. Okay, so this is how much makeup was removed from just using that one wipe. I do use another cleanser in order to remove more makeup because I know that there is still makeup on my face that I can't get out without using a cleanser. And that is, I'm going to use, it's another Garnier Skin Active. Um, this is just a really gentle sulfate free cleanser. See my dog playing in the background. She's so cute. Um, so I'm going to use this. And these next few steps I normally do while I'm in the shower. But I figured it would be a lot harder to show you guys while I'm in the shower. So that's... Just know that you can do these in the shower too. So I'm going to be using my Clarisonic to use this cleanser. So uh, I just use it the same way I did with the acne cleanser. Just do about two pumps. And the thing I really like about this particular cleanser is that it is foaming, a foaming cleanser. So I feel like it really gets into all the little pores I want to get it in. I'm not sure if y'all can see how much makeup still came off on the Clarisonic and this is with the soap. So this is why I use two cleansers at night instead of just one, one to combat getting makeup off your skin and then the other one for whatever kind of treatment you need. Okay, I've now changed the brush head on my Clarisonic from the Radiance one to the, this is what, like the pore clearing one. And then I'm gonna use that same cleanser that I used earlier today, the Acne Facial Cleanser and use the same amount. I did wet my face before I started this. Yeah, I feel like this brush head is a lot more rough. I don't know if that's the right word. But I really want to focus on the places on with this brush on like places that I'm breaking out really bad. Like right here. Make sure it really gets in there. And once again, I am going to let this cleanser sit on my face for a little bit. And man, once I used that brush head and it really put it in my skin, it's starting to burn a lot sooner than it did earlier today. But I'll power through. It's going to be okay. Just leave it on for a couple minutes to let that medicine really get in there to work. And then I'll wash it off. So while I'm waiting for this acne cleanser to stay on my face for a little bit, I'll go ahead and tell you about what I'm going to do afterwards. So this, um, just like my morning routine, I'm just going to use these two products again, but then I'm also going to add, since I'm having some acne problems, I'm going to go ahead and use this Origins Super Spot Remover Acne Treatment Gel, and you just apply this to any problem areas that you're having, and they really help reduce them the next morning. Bailey, you're just dying to be in this video book day and night. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, yep. She wants to play. I also wanted to mention that three times a week I do um, exfoliate my face. Um, this is one of like several exfoliators I use on my face. And I try not to exfoliate every day because it really can tear up your skin. Uh, today I don't need to exfoliate because I think I exfoliated yesterday. 
Um, but this is a good one. This is one that I got in a boxy charm. It is kind of expensive. I think this is like 50 bucks or something like that. So I probably won't be repurchasing this one specifically, but I feel like any exfoliator to just get all the dead skin off of your face that's been sitting there for a couple days is, is good. When I'm exfoliating my face, I do typically do this after the first cleanser I do and before the acne one, uh, just to make sure that I clear out any pores that need to be clean and then that way the acne treatment gets right into those cleared out pores more than if I exfoliated after because I feel like if I exfoliated afterwards then all of that acne treatment that I put in my face would get cleaned out with any exfoliators. So I've already washed off my face and dried it and y'all already saw me. Y'all know what I did with the uh the toner, I'm just doing literally the exact same thing again, except for I already know this one's gonna kind of burn a little bit because of this open wound I have now. <laughs> but it must be clean. So I feel like this goes without saying, but just make sure if you, when you are washing your face that you do have clean hands. I feel like it's obvious, but I just wanna, I wanna make sure that I mention it because I feel like if I don't, people are gonna think that I wash my face with my nasty hands here we go with this cute angle again but I'm gonna be putting that uh, that moisturizer on my face another product that I sometimes use usually when I'm having a little bit more problems with my skin being dry I use this this is just like a little sample and I got this uh, not too long ago but this is just a um, an overnight moisturizing mask that you you don't wash off so it's basically just like an intense moisturization that you put on in addition to your moisturizer or at least that's what I do I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but just so y'all know this is another thing that I use Let's see if it'll so now that I've let my skin drink up more of that moisturizer I am gonna go ahead and apply that spot treatment that I have and I'm gonna be using that cute little angle just to show you guys how much I use and so this once again make sure you have clean hands get just like the tiniest amount I mean this also depends on the size of it but you just want to put it on there god this broke my skin out bad I am throwing that thing that foundation away I have not had something break me out this bad in a long time. And it's so convenient that it broke me out so bad on a day that I'm trying to do a skincare video. <laughs> I'm doing all the right things, I promise. I normally have much better skin than this. Oh, this burns so bad. So just, if you do plan on using this, just know. Most acne treatments do burn a little bit. I guess it also just kind of depends on how sensitive your skin is. So yeah guys, that's my uh, current skincare routine. Um, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing and it's just kind of irritating when my skin freaks out like this because uh, it did not look like this morning. I know you'll probably can recognize that, but um, that's what I do right now. If, I mean, if y'all have any more suggestions for your girl on other things I can do to help this situation, let me know. So I'm trying to film an outro for this video and to be completely honest with you, it is really difficult to do because all of the, um, Origins acne treatment is burning my face. It is literally <laughs> making it so hard for me to think of something that I'm trying to say. So, um, I think I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to hurt my head too much because it burns. But thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.